Howdy, y'all. Uh, disco biker here. I'm getting ready to go on a little spin on the old bike. She's seen the better days. It's in pretty rough shape, but still runs. Still goes down the road. So I'm going to take me a little ride. Let's see if I can find me a rubber band in my pocket of my chaps here. Uh, about 16 years ago, ow, I was riding my girlfriend's bike. And another car hit me from behind and ran me over. Sent me flying 20 feet through the air. But I was wearing my my leathers. The very same chaps and jacket that I'm going to wear today. A little scuff marks and stuff. Saved my life. And uh, of course I had to replace the helmet. You always replace your helmet after an impact. From an accident or whatever. And uh, my helmet was the first thing that hit the ground. I heard a crack on the pavement. And then uh, I went, then I got bounced around, bounced around. By the time I got done bouncing, people just stood there looking at me and said, Get me off the road. I can't walk. You gotta help me in case somebody comes around the corner and kills me. So, anywho, long story short, they got me off the road. And uh, I had a broken arm. And I was covered in road rash from head to toe. I had a compound fracture of my left arm. And uh, while I still had my cast on, I called up my riding buddy and I said, I want to ride, come get me. So he did. And I used my husband's leather jacket to get it over my cast because of all the way up to my armpit. <laughs> so we went riding, went to Lightington that day, I remember. And it was nice. Only thing about being a passenger is you get all the wind sitting in the back. So I'm using my camera here as reflection to make sure I get my helmet on. My helmet straps are on straight. I don't have to look, but to find that little band, it's kind of handy. Where'd it go? I'm stuck in there. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. That just keeps it from flapping in the wind so it doesn't drive you nuts. Otherwise, it's going to keep whacking up against your neck. All right, cool. All right. And I usually just wear a little bit of fingerless gloves here. It protects the hands. It, my hands get sore, you know, shifting and gripping because there's no foam padding on the old handlebars there. So I usually put some padded gloves on. That's a little bit of padding. And it does protect you. When I had that motorcycle accident, I was not wearing gloves. So I got some little permanent nerve damage right there, but it's not too bad. Huh, feels like I got two different pairs on. Maybe I just don't have it Velcroed right. I got like two and a half pairs of these. Yeah, I say two and a half because one glove is missing. So, but anyway, I'm going to bid you all a fine adieu, adieu, however you want to say that. In other words, I'm going to put this here jacket on, and I'm going to go for a ride. Woo! It's hot out. I reckon I should warm it up. ready to go so I'll catch you later. I'm gonna keep the rubber side down and I'll be back. Catch you later. I said that already. <laughs>